Hey guys, Neil Shepard here at Ed Murdoch Superstore in Livonia, Georgia. Internet sales manager, product specialist. You know, today, the first thing that's done to most of the vehicles we sell, especially trucks, is a tire swap. Go into an all-terrain or a mud-terrain tire, either bigger, uh, wider, or more aggressive in the tread. So today I want to go over some of the best all-terrain and mud-terrain tires in the market so you can have some options and better idea of what you want to do with your next vehicle. Let's check them out, guys. Okay, first we have the Toyo Open Country AT2. This is a Generation 2 all-terrain tire by Toyo. Toyo, excuse me. Toyo is a great brand, been around for a long time. I have a, a huge following. Let's take a look at the tread. This vehicle here has 12,000 miles on it. Good look at the bi-directional tread. Uh, noise is at a, a very minimum amount. Sidewall. Uh, could be a little more aggressive on the sidewall, but overall it's a, a good all-terrain tire. I'm going to give you good longevity on mileage. Comfort on the road is exceptional. And off-road, uh, you'll see an, an average, average grip and hold. Toyo AT2, the open country. One more shot of the tread. Toyo Open Country AT2. Here again is the Toyo AT2, the Open Country. Just on a factory 20 inch wheel by Ford. This particular one here is a 32 and a half on a 20 inch wheel. Just kind of show the differences between. Guys, when you go to a aftermarket wheel is going to be wider it's going to have a totally different stance but your the size of the tires are uh very greatly as far as width height dimensions another look at the toyo tread there but the look of the tire that you're going for the width the overall road noise offset that's all dependent upon the wheel that you use but the toyo open country at3 at2 i'm sorry is a good is a great option now here we have a nitto ridge grapper this tire is new to the market hadn't been out too long uh 35 12 50 20 aftermarket wheel of course i like this tire a lot probably gonna run it next on my truck this is kind of an in-between all-terrain and mud terrain not too noisy uh, doesn't weigh too much so got an aggressive tread it's caked in mud like we like to see it Love the side uh, uh, side treads, very aggressive on the sidewall also. And like I was telling you, you go with a different aftermarket tire, it's gonna change the complete look of the tire. It's got a nice negative offset, as you see there on this truck. Great stance. This is not gonna be as loud as the Nitto Mud Grappler. And again, this is called Nitto Ridge Grappler. New tire to the market, love it. Another look at the Nitto Ridge Grappler. This is a 35 11 50 20 on a 2017 F-150 Lariat factory wheel. That's correct. 35 11 50 20. Two and a half inch level kit. They'll fit right up under, underneath there nicely. Ridge Grappler. It's a great mix between all terrain and mud terrain. Nitto Ridge Grapper. Love it. Next we have the Mickey Thompson Baja ATZ P3. This would fall in the category of a mud terrain. See the large spacing in between the tire tread. This particular one has 14,000 miles on it. A little more noisy than a true all-terrain. This one here is a uh, 33 on a 20 inch wheel for the Rocky Ridge package. Like the sidewall on the Mickey Thompson. Mickey Thompson are the exclusive tire of Rocky Ridge trucks. That's why we have this one on this particular vehicle. Good look at the sidewall. Let's check out the front again so we can get some better lighting for you. Here's your tread pattern. 
Mickey Thompson, Baja ATZ, P3. Next is a BF Goodrich All-Terrain TA KO2. This is a Generation 2 All-Terrain tire. I fell in love with the All-Terrain way back in the day. My first vehicle had them on it. This is the Generation 2 All-Terrain. You see the sidewall is a little more aggressive and uh, the tread is slightly different. Has more reinforcement, has more plies in the tread overall depth. Not as noisy either, has overall excellent ride quality, just improves the vehicle stability and ride quality uh, as a whole. BF Goodrich All-Terrain TA KO2. This is on a 20 inch factory Ford wheel, 31 and a half inches. Got a great stance. As you can see, kind of a narrow tire, similar to what the factory uh, tire comes with on these trucks. So if you have any questions or concerns about what to go with your next vehicle, uh, leave me a message, uh, comment below. Love to help you. BF Goodrich All-Terrain KO2. Probably one of the top three in the market. Uh, here, this here is the BF Goodrich All-Terrain TA, the Generation 1. It's been around for ages. You see that the side wall is a little less aggressive than the KO2, but the tread is very, very similar. If you find these at a great deal, that, that'd be a great option too. Still a phenomenal tire. This is on the Generation 1 KMC Rockstar XD wheels. Be a good wrench all terrain. No doubt one of the major players in the mud terrain tire segment is the Toyo Open Country MT. Here we have a 38, 13, 50, 20. Of course, true mud terrain tire here. A little bit louder as far as road noise and overall stiffness. But sidewall looks great. Nice deep channels on your tire there. Just a great overall tire. It's a heavy tire, uh, but of course, being the, the size and the tread, tread depth and the thickness, it's gonna be a heavy tire, but just an overall incredible mud terrain tire. Look at that offset too. Toyo Open Country MT. One of the best in the business. Fuel Rockstar Wheel Gen 2 also, for those of you wondering. Nitto Mud Grappler, Extreme Terrain. This is uh, probably the most aggressive looking, sounding, and feeling tire there is in the market when it comes to a mud terrain. This is on a uh, 35, 1250, 20 on a F-150. Has a great wide stance. You can tell by the aggressive Raptor-like tread on the tire. Very noisy, very loud, but looks amazing and is great in the mud or any terrain. Nitto Mud Grappler Extreme Terrain. If you're looking for that overall just incredible head turning look, uh, this is it. Nitto makes a great product. And here on my personal truck, we have a Nitto Terra Grappler G2 All Terrain. This here is a 35 inch or 34.89 inches, um, 1250 width on a 22 inch wheel. This is a uh, unique stance and set up on a truck. Uh, 35 inch tire, 1250 width, uh, 22 inch rim. Almost hardly sticks out at all, about a half an inch. Tucks up under there nicely on the F-150. 22 inch wheel again. Nitto has some great options as far as tire sizes. Uh, decent sidewall there, semi-aggressive. This is all-terrain. I, I commute daily about 120 miles with this vehicle, these tires. These have 37,000 miles on them. And look at all that tread left. Been just an excellent tire. Uh, it has it exceeded my expectations when it comes to an all-terrain tire as far as ride quality, quietness. Uh, the little bit wider width has helped with my stability and handling and look at that i got i got thousands of miles left probably i'd say a good 10 15 000 miles left on an all-terrain tire uh, this this has been my my best experience so far with, with all-terrain tire nitto terra grappler generation 2 all-terrain now we saw bf goodwrench's 
all-terrain generation two tire here is their mud terrain ta this is also a great tire a little bit more noisy uh handling's not as good a little bit heavier than the all-terrain but overall excellent tire choice for a truck or suv be a good wrench mud terrain of course you can go white walls on the outside or, or tuck them in either way like the sidewall tread there just an excellent tire I've been around a long time and then Maxxis, who makes foil tires, auto tires as well, this is their version of their mud terrain. Very similar tread, it's called the Maxxis Bighorn. Very similar as the mud terrain by Maxxis, the Bighorn. Another quality mud terrain. This here is a Mastercraft Courser MXT. This has come onto the scene pretty hot and heavy here lately. A little more affordable than the big players. Mastercraft. Courser MXT. Truly dedicated mud terrain tire. Good aggressive tread. Well, the sidewall. This particular one is a 37, 13, 50, 20. Coming all side, section sizes. They look great on a half ton truck as well. My customers have said that they've had good overall uh, tread wear and, and overall length and quality with these tires also. So Mastercraft would be another good option. I've had personal experience with this as well. This is a Nitto Trail Grappler Tire MT. This one's kind of wore out, but you can see the tread wear. This is a mud terrain tire, but it's very quiet still. Kind of a more of a soft, uh, soft fly tire. It'd be a great everyday driver tire as well. Great in the mud. A very good and reliable tire. Nitto Trail Grapper MT. Goodyear Wrangler MTR. Have had great success with this tire on Jeep Wranglers as well as some of our lifted trucks. Got a very aggressive, unique tread there. Available in large sizes and small, but typically we run these in 35 or higher. Uh, inches in diameter, Kevlar belt, my Goodyear, Goodyear Wrangler MTR. So friends, I hope you enjoyed my short video. Um, I know it's kind of basic and, and short, but if you have any questions or liked any particular tire that you saw, please uh, comment below, send me a message, I'll have my, my uh, contact info below as well. Please like and subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me. I'll keep trying to bring quality information to you uh, from all aspects of life, but especially the auto industry. I am your specialist when it comes to configurations, what will work or not work, when it comes to equipping your next truck or vehicle with a nice set of aftermarket uh, wheels or tires. So please let me uh, use me as a resource. I'd love to help you any way possible. Neil Shepard, Ed Murdoch Superstores. Like, subscribe below, and the info for me is below also. Thanks.